with the M50, very, very similar. You can see, if I turn this on, that everything's there and the focus is working and it actually looks like you've got a clean HDMI out. However, if I turn this around, trying to be careful of that HDMI port and put it on my face, you'll see that you get that box turn up. You see, remember that really annoying box? Well, we need to turn this off and it's quite simple. On the back, just here, you've got the autofocus, manual focus on and off. So if I just pull this back, you can see that it's on. If I put manual focus on, then it's gone away. Um, if I put it back on again, you can see it comes back again. Now you do have that autofocus that stays down there. If you push the shutter button halfway down, you don't have to push it always, you'll find that that manual focus, autofocus will disappear. So you do sort of have a clean HDMI out on here. However, it comes at a sacrifice and that is with the M50, you're not gonna be able to focus. So this is really good if you're gonna do a, a sit down and talk and not move from your seat. The, you just basically put it in focus and it will be fine. However, if you're going to be moving around and you know basically just jumping about or something like that, then really this probably isn't the camera for you. The other thing to notice on the back of here as well, we've got a button here that says info. If you press this button here, it will turn off all the information around you. It does work, it works quite fine. You just need to remember there's no autofocus. So when you're actually doing this, you're gonna have your autofocus and your manual focus. You're gonna turn it on and off. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get your autofocus, you might have your camera about here. And what you're going to do is you're gonna go, Yep, that's right. You're gonna lean forwards to turn off the autofocus. And when you do that, it's gonna refocus closer. So you're gonna turn it off onto manual, then you're gonna sit back and it'll be out of focus. This really does help if you've got somebody that can actually turn that on and off for you. So if you sit here, move around just a little bit so that it focuses, and then get someone to push that button while you stay still, that focal length shouldn't really change. But, as I said, there's a little bit more, little bit more setup, but if you've bought one of these and you're using it for recording, that works perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about any of that. But if you now want to use it for streaming, it just is a little bit more of a setup. 